for this tutorial we're going to look at just creating um, a simple street lamp using just low polygon methods so we're going to start by creating a base that has some kind of follow me around the outside so we're going to zoom into the position we want we're going to create a rectangle base for our lamp post or our street light should i say um, and then we're going to zoom in and reposition where we want it so i'm going to start with my base quite tall so if i come into the pull push tool and just pull it right up and that should probably do it and i'm just going to make it a bit narrower there we go now from here i'm going to go back into my arc tool so if you haven't got it selected just click on your arc tool and reposition it so i can see both edges i'm going to click on this one and this one and then follow the green line out until i get what i want now i'm going to make it quite narrow there we go now once again just scroll around until you can see this top edge and we're going to go back into the follow me tool just like we did in the last lesson and we're going to pull this out remember to be nearer the top just so you can pull it around the angle that you need it to go and here we go there we go so we have our base now um, normally a lamppost would be on a round circle so if I clicked a round circle um, but this does make it really difficult for me to draw the kind of stems so I'm going to stick with my rectangle so when I draw on this base I'm just going to keep it as a rectangle zoom in so I can see what I'm doing there we go and let go if it's not in the middle what we can do is just click on this or double click so we have the edge or sorry click and then shift to select all sides and then use the move tool until you get exactly where you want it to be now in actual fact that wasn't too bad but if you do my kind of mess up the center then that's the best way of doing it and just make sure you follow these axes along until you get it roughly towards the center you can use your snapping grid for this mine's currently off which is why it's not going straight into the center, but it's not a problem. Okay, so we've got the base of our stem. Now let's go back into the follow me tool and go to the pull push, and we're just gonna pull it up um, until we have base our thing. And once again, it's, it's a bit strange because obviously it's not round, but um, during my demo, I, it did cause me a, a few issues to, when I tried to draw it round where I couldn't actually draw the stem on it. So for this example, we're just we're literally just going to keep it as simple as possible. Um, that will probably do it. Now for this next bit, we're going to draw on this surface here, and we're just going to pull it out for the light. So a really really simple shape, nothing nothing too complex. So we're going to draw on this surface, and then we're going to go back to the pull push tool, and we're just going to pull it out. Now the actual technique that I want to show you on this is the, the scale tool. So with this surface selected, we're just going to scale it in. So underneath the move tool, we have the scale tool. And then if we just grab one of the edges, and you'll need to be quite close so you can see what it's doing. And we can just scale it in however we want to, and that's quite nice. And then we can use the pull push tool to get the next bit and on the next bit I'm just going to scale it from the outside here. So I'm going to come back onto my select tool and then I'm going to pull it out. And I'll probably need to do the same with the other side. So on this side we don't have that so let me just create a line where I want it to go. That should do it. And then select that and then let's pull this bit out as well. Not quite the way I wanted it, but it should be okay. It's actually a dodgy angle, so it's going to cause me a few issues. So let's just undo that and try and get that right again. So let's draw that on. There we go. That's better. Now use the pull push tool, pull it out fantastic now we should have a solid face at the bottom and we're just going to scale this bit in as well so if we select this and then go back to our scale tool and then what we can do is just bring that in and let's kind of crunch that bit so let me just create another surface on that as well let me just pull it out a little bit more before i do the the full extent of this once again i'm just going to pull it in and then hopefully that has given us roughly what we wanted not quite you might have to have a little play around with that let me control z that again let me 
just try and get both edges. There we go. That's a bit more like it. It still created that little bit there, but you can kind of see that that is some kind of lamp post. Um, and of course you can make yours a lot better than that, but it's just showing you the low poly techniques. So have a go at getting a lamp post drawn using those techniques.